Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we'll try to understand a many-to-many -many relationship for works on relationship type. So far, in our previous classes, we have identified two different uh, two different relationship types between employee and department. So these discussions were already made in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here. And every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist list is provided in the description below now uh, so far these are the uh, relationship types that we have identified still we have so in our first class of identifying relationship types there we have identified four different relationship types employee department other one is project and the fourth one is dependent so uh, the relationship types between these two has been identified now we will try to identify uh, with respect to the, to this project are there any relationship types so let's try to understand them and uh, let's try to start from this employee so what 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 we suggest is just pause this video for a while and try you yourself try to identify any relationship types that are there uh, between projects and uh, uh, employee and dependent with, with respect to the projects if any relationships are identified relationship types can be identified or not please try to do that now coming back uh, in this employee so we will go with this employee so with this employee with respect to this employee are there any attributes so when can we say that there exists a relationship between two entity types we can say that if there is an attribute which is representing which is representing the features of another entity type then there exists a relationship so, so let's find with respect to the employee are there any attributes which represents projects okay so there is a there is an attribute which is uh, works on see here works on employee works on where the employee works employee works on projects so this works on attribute is uh, uh, is representing the concept of projects okay so now now this attribute will get converted into a relationship so what is the relationship name of the relationship it is works on and what about these attributes of this works on so it is a multi-valued attribute these are the two attributes of works on so where they will go so as the project project itself is defining the works on so we are not going to so this works on is going to the projects is related to the projects so here we there is no need to represent this project now we are left with this hours which is belonging to this works on so this hours is going to be an attribute of the relationship type so this uh, hours is going to be the attribute for this relationship type so what is the new relationship that the type that has been identified identified it is works on works on is the new relationship type now now what about the cardinality ratio and participation and the relationship is between uh, the entity types employee and project and what is the cardinality ratio let's try to check this so we have discussed about this relationship instances in our previous classes okay so now uh, here we are going to have e1 e2 e3 e4 e5 e6 so on okay and here p1 p2 p3 uh, p4 so these are the projects r1 r2 r3 r4 r5 and r6 so now uh, let's uh, recap the uh, what we call it as uh, uh, requirements that are provided so see here here an employee is assigned to one department but may work on several projects so this line this line we have taken from the requirements so but may work on several projects an employee can work has to work on several projects so with that with that the maximum participation the maximum participation of an employee for example if you take he may work on project one he may work on project sorry project two sorry this is project two and this employee two may work on project one okay so employee two works on project one and employee two may also work on project two so this way 
an employee works on several projects an employee works on several projects so similarly if you take uh, this also he may work on project 3 he may work on project 4 and uh, he so more relationship instances project 3 and he may work on project 4 so this way this way if you if you consider the cardinality ratio the maximum participation of an entities of the entities of an entity type here the maximum participation is maximum means in some cases there are more than one and we should not consider it from this diagram so we have to consider them from the relationships uh, sorry requirements in the requirements what they have provided they have provided that but may work on an employee employee may work on several projects so with that it is stating that the participation the participation of the employee maximum number of participation of an employee is m let's take it as m similarly if you take projects it is common sense that a project cannot be work uh, we cannot work on a project so with, with, with a single person in a project that project may not go well and it itself states that different employees are working on the same project so it is also a many relationship a many so the participation the maximum participation of the of the uh, employees in the projects is many so in a single project in a single entity there are many employees working on them the maximum is n so the overall participation the cardinality ratio of this relationship r is relationship r means it is works on relationship works on the the cardinality ratio is m is to n it is a, a many to many relationship it is many to many relationship and how to represent the cardinality ratio ratios on the er diagram on the opposite direction so the cardinality ratio of uh, the maximum participation of employee on works on is m so it has to be represented on the opposite direction similarly for projects it is going to be n so it has to be represented on the opposite direction similarly what about the participation minimum 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 number of participations of an uh, of the entities of an entity type for example if you consider this uh, it itself stating that so it is it is compulsory that if you are taking an employee means he should work on a project an employee should definitely work on a project okay so it, with that we are going to state that it is one means at least an employee should have at least one project okay similarly if you take a project if there is a project means there should be at least one employee without an employee within the project it, uh, that that will not work right so for a specific project there should be at least one employee so this is one which means that what kind of participation is it at least one means every employee should participate in a project every project should have an employee so it is both of them are full participation so how the full participations are represented in the year diagram it is represented by double lines Pro project is having full participation and similarly employee is also having full participation so this is our new requirement and this cardinality ratio the maximum participation of both these entity types on this relationship type is is many to many and similarly both of them both the participation of both this the minimum participation of both this both the entities of these entity types on this relationship type is full participation what about the hours attribute so this hours attribute uh, this will get this is going to as it is related to this works on as it is very much related to this works on number of hours that the employee is working on each project and as the project itself is representing the works on is representing the projects so we are we are just concerned about these hours and these hours will get shifted to this relationship type so so this hours is going to be an attribute of relationship type relationship type works on and uh, during the implementation how these hours attributes will get shifted whether to projects or to the employees so all those discussions that we'll try to understand in our later videos so this is all about uh, many to many relationship of works on relationship type hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching
If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. And if you have any doubts regarding this concept, please post your doubt in the comment section below. And if you feel that this video is helpful to you, please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited. Thanks for watching.